Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Back to Questions and Video Magical. So here we are again, we're looking at Final Cut Pro and Motion 5, and we're seeing what we can do to learn how to use these things. Now, one of the good ways of learning something is to have a look at what some people have done already, and to either deconstruct it or just try and copy it and see how it was made. So let's have a look at this one here, for instance. Let's double click on that there and open a copy in Motion. So here we are in motion, and uh, this is a fairly simple one, that's why I chose this one. And basically let's run this and see what happens. We'll press the play button. So let's open this out and see what we've got in here, first of all. We've only got uh, a couple of graphics in there, in fact we've got one graphic in there, a bezier shape. We've got the name and the description. So after having a look at how that other one was made in motion, I thought what I'd do is I'd try and recreate it as close as possible to the original and when you first open up one of these uh, titles in motion you get the text in here already so let's put some text in there and this is the title of a new website a video magical and we'll have that in a extra black make it stand out a bit better and the size is fine i think now when the text first starts off in that to the lower third that's we had a look at what it does is it comes in from this side over here and drops down. So first of all, I think what we should do is we should move it over to the side here. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go to the inspector and have our starting point with some a rotation in there. So I'll go to the transform tool and we'll change the rotation. Let's put a keyframe in there first of all. That'd be a good start, wouldn't it? So let's change it by changing this here. And you see it's actually changing from this here as the center point. How do I get this center to be moved so that it's further over here? Maybe it's by moving this anchor point here. Let's change that. That's the way to do it. Okay, so I want to have the anchor point in the, uh, the center of this, shall we say. And we'll have the position of it back over there again. Let's alter the rotation a little bit more than that. Around about there, that'll be good. So this is the uh, starting point of our text. And what the text does is it takes an arc in and then it goes off to the right. First of all, we will change the rotation of this here. So I've put keyframes in there for the position and also for the rotation. So at 46 frames in, I want the uh, rotation to have finished. And I want it to be sitting in the screen around about here. So we'll do that. We'll change the rotation by changing this here. It's one of the easiest ways of changing the rotation. So let's, I've got it close, but not quite right yet. Let's uh, change that to a zero. We've got the position where we want it around about here. And let's change the color of this here as well while we're about it. So that's the first part of it. Then we'll go to around about here, 76 in and the text has got to move off to the right and then it does a little bit of a jump right at the very end there so what we're going to do is we're going to move just a couple of frames over and we're going to make it go up just a wee bit then move a couple more frames over and then have it move back down again okay so let's uh, turn that off and go back to the start here and see how this works let's press play comes in goes across the right bumps up and drops down again okay that's perfect that's just what i wanted to do so you can see our keyframes all the transformations that have been done here this is where it goes up and down here at the end and it's that uh, pink line there which governs the rotation if i was to change this here i could do put another point in there i can move it and change the rotation a bit there look We'll put a marker in there as well, so we know where this point is at the end. So we've got a marker up in the uh, top of the timeline there now. And I had to uh, have the stuff not selected so that I can get the marker up there. Otherwise, it just puts the marker in for the one object. So let's take this here and start typing some text in there. Making YouTube video. That's a bit of text that we've got there. Change from extra black to uh, regular. And we'll bring the size of it down a little bit as well. And we're going to go to this point over here, which is going to be our starting point, shall we say, for that text there. And I want it to start 
off the screen about here. So what I need to do now is I need to go to this over here, our properties. I'm looking at the transform properties again. And this time we've got no rotation to worry about. But what we will have is we'll have some opacity. So we'll start with opacity down around about here. Put in a keyframe. And we're going to change the position as well. So I'll put in a keyframe for that there as well. And we'll go to our record button. Then we'll move this to the end point, which is here. And I want this text to come in at around about here. And the other thing I want to change on this here is I want it to have a full opacity there. So let's put the opacity all the way up there. And while we're at it, let's change the color of the text to black also. So let's add a rectangle. Use this tool here. About that big. We'll use this tool here. Change the shape of it by double click on it and using our moving our control points. That's good. That's the end of position there. And at the moment, the shape and size of it is not quite right. So let's bring this over here. Let's bring that over here. And we'll bring this down a wee tad. OK, that's how I want it to end. Let's put the rectangle so that it's behind that bit there. OK, so there's my ending point. And I'm going to change the position of it. So let's put that there. And I'm going to change the scale of it as well and also the opacity of it so everything's as I want it there in the ending mode let's go to this point about here and that's where I think I'll have the uh, shape start to come in let's press this button here let's move this down let's change the opacity of it see in the bottom there that the uh, sliders are changing the keyframe points Let's just uh, move the position of his up a little bit. OK, so that's the starting position that I want it to be. So now I'll turn that off. Let's press the play button. Well, that was just nice, that was. Absolutely spondicious. So now let's press the uh, file save button. Video magical lower third. Category bumper open. Could uh, have a new theme. OK, so Video Magical is the new theme. Create. Save a preview movie. Why not? And we'll publish. Let's go back to Final Cut. And here we are in Final Cut. Let's get rid of that one there because we're not going to use that one now. If I go to Themes, and our Themes called Video Magical. And there's the lower third there, look. Double click on it. And put it into the movie for me. So there it goes. It's all rendered now. Let's press the play I button. I have got it quite right. And I think I need to have more light from the front. We'll go back to this here and we'll take this here. So there it is, opened in motion. And one thing I've noticed here is that this here finishes a bit too soon as well. So let's take that so it goes right to the end. And then what I'll do is I'm going to select a group. And I'm going to basic motion of a fade in, fade out. So let's select that and click apply. And that'll apply it to the whole group. I don't need it to do any fading at the beginning of it because it's already sort of doing as I want it to do. We'll have a 20 frame fade out at the end. We'll file save. So that's saved. We'll close that. Let's go back to this here. Now this one here won't be changed because this is the uh, one before we made the changes. Basically what we'll have to do is we'll have to uh, get rid of that and then put it in again. So let's uh, go to somewhere else. Let's uh, put it in over here and we'll uh, double click on it. OK, so our rendering is done now. Let's press play. The lights that I've got at the moment are not the best and I don't think I've got it quite right. And I think I need to have more lights from the front to uh, get things just set up nicely because it's just not. So how about that? Our new lower third is working just as it's supposed to do there. And we did it all with keyframes just by copying something that was there already. And we've got it set up so it's in there under the themes in Video Magical. And if I want to use it again, all I've got to do is just go over here and get it. And we've even got a little sort of animation showing us how it works. So there you go, that's how to uh, learn how to do some motion stuff by copying something that's there already. And of course we could do other things to that to add to it to make it better.
Yes, it's that time again. It's time for clicking that subscribe button and subscribing to the Wizard Gold Mac 20Q channel. And you'll know when the next video is coming out and it's ready for you to watch.